Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today I'm going to be making, creating two pages in the Yo-Yo journal that's going to be sent over to Liz um, at Buttons for Brains. And I want to thank everybody. I've had a really nice response to this. Um, everybody seems to enjoy it. So I want to thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you stick around, go back and peek at some of the older videos I have. Um, subscribe, like, and comment. Um, so today I'm going to, I found a page in here. I thought I would work on this page here. I have four pages left to do before I send it over to Scotland. Um, so I thought I would share this little page with you and I received a really I've never received one of these craft I'm going to raise my I'm going to bring this up just a little bit there a little bit more room so I'm not so in your face um, I never received an envelope uh, this craft style before everything has been white and I just thought it would be a lot of fun to make a little pocket in here um, in Liz's journal and then I have this little, I found this. This is a really cute little um, folder. It says observations. And then it has the maps in here. And I thought I would try to use that on this side here. And I want to try to make it so you can flip it out like this or you can flip it open. So I've been thinking about that. I think I may have to do it with washi tape. Um, if I put washi tape here to adhere it, fold it out and then put washi tape here, I think that will work. So um, I know Liz likes a lot of little whimsical things. One of the things, items that I really like, I love little gnomes. So I thought, I'm just going to set this over here and I'll work with these two pieces. I thought I would incorporate some gnomes. And as you can see, I took this apart and I did some slow stitching around because I like these two little windows, the, this vertical space here. Um, so I just did some funky stitching around here and I wanted to use the brown thread because I just wanted to keep this kind of matted uh, like a neutral um, setting I didn't want to use white and have it be so obtrusive and I found a really cute little woodland scene and because I live in the woods um, I just thought this would be really cute to you so I want to tuck this inside of here so you can see the the woodland scene through um, the windows here. And then I found this cute little, it says, the celebrated jumping frog and curious dream. That says by, um, but I, I could cut that off a little bit so we can get rid of the by. And I wanna use this as, I wanna make this into a little tag and then I found these cute little um, tags that I have. I thought I would tuck all of these down in here like this so she can use all three of these. And then I have to incorporate a wild rose because we are out in the wilderness. And then I have these cute little gnomes here that I cut out of a book. Um, and this is obviously one of the pages for injuries and what to do if you have a broken leg, a bleeding wound, stitching the wound, and then you have burns. I think this is cute where she's on. But this is the page that I really wanted to use. And these are all little self-remedies. Um, chamomile or dill seed tea are used for curing insomnia. This one to prefer. This is to prevent flatulence. They drink fennel seed tea. And the little mouse holding his nose because he just did some stinkies. 
Um, a few pieces of dandelion leaf daily to help against constipation. I have to pick one. I have to pick a good one out for Liz. A daily leaf of, of century helps against hardening of the arteries. Uh, here's St. John's wort to cure depression and general listlessness. Well, I don't want to send because she's she is not depressed or uh, listless. To prevent kidney stones, they use a tea drawn from a young birch tree leaf. Um, hmm. That's the hardening of the arteries. That's the the kidney stones. We don't need to go with the depression. Um, I kind of like the fennel to prevent flatulence. They drink fennel seed tea. <laughs> I just like that little mouse. But what I wanted to do, and I may not even put any of this in, I wanted to try to incorporate a little gnome in the woods um, so you could see through this. And I actually wanted to have this as the tag that she could pull in and out. So I just have to decide which um, I could use this little guy. He doesn't look very peppy though, does he? I could use him with the cane, which might be kind of cute, where he's kind of just walking through, walking through the woods. I guess the best way to do it is to just cut, cut him out, right? And see. don't really want to put any of the sayings in there because I don't want her to think that um, I think she has a problem with any of these. That wouldn't be very nice. I know gnomes are known to be snarky and rude and crude. Um, but I just think they're cute. Except in people's gardens. I don't really, I don't know, I don't want to offend anyone, but my mother-in-law used to have all of these little things out and about. And she didn't, she wasn't a gardener, but she insisted on having all of these little things. And she didn't really, I guess if they were placed properly, and their little paint was chipped and all right so isn't he cute so i thought even if i put him something like this on the tag so when the tag is taken out She can see all of him walking through the woods. So if we put him there like that. Oh, look at that. He's right on. He's right on that brick there, which will be lovely. So that kind of worked out well, didn't it? So I'm going to slide this back in. And I'm going to... Put him back here where I thought he would be. So I'm kind of working backwards and inside out, right? Inside out, upside down. And then I'm going to just put a little dab of glue on him because I do want to use him there. And I was so excited this morning. My son and daughter-in-law 
we did a FaceTime um, and my son wanted to show me what he bought his brother for Christmas. Um, and, oh gosh, we were talking on FaceTime for probably a good 45 minutes and I got to see Mata's mom and dad. They don't speak much English. Um, of course, I don't speak any Romanian, but I heard my son in the back. I mean, my son was talking to them while, and he's doing very well on his Romanian, um, on the language. So it was nice to hear him where he can pretty much speak fluently to Mata's parents. So I think that was a nice surprise for them as well. But they both look so good and um, very happy. And I'm happy for them. Okay, so I want to have this. So it's just about here. So I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue Maybe just a little bit of glue over on this side here. Because when I put this in, yeah, I just want it kind of lined up there like that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to back this next. And I think I'm going to do it on just some plain, some nice plain cardstock so she can write on it. So I'm going to just grab some of that. And I decided not to, I think I'm going to back it with this leafy. This nice green leafy and she can still write on that because I want to keep with the um, I want to keep with the woodland the woodland theme And I'm going to take my tape and I'm just going to run a couple pieces of tape, X them out there. I can bring that right over. That way I only need to cut three sides. And I only need to cut three. And all of these images here came from that very large gnome book that you have seen out and about. And I bought mine at a, a craft fair where they were selling, this man had these old books. Um, I think I got my, I think I bought it for $12. It was more than I wanted to spend, but I really... The illustrations in it are just really cool. All right, I'm going to get this. It's really raining here today. I don't know if you can hear it pounding up against my windows. All right, so we have that. And see, I glued that. I probably shouldn't. I'm going to open that up. I don't want that to be glued down. Okay. 
and I don't want to rip this either. This is the only really section that took to the glue. There. Okay. Okay. And then the other thing I want to do, I do want to put a tape run on the bottom here um, because I, I don't want it to go down way down into the I want it to stop right about there. So, right there. So this is where I will put a nice layer of glue. It's just beyond this. Right past this line here, okay? And I'm going to let that set. And then I think I will actually, because I'm not going to add any paper to this, I don't believe. Um, maybe a little torn. Maybe a little torn. I'd like to add some cheesecloth to this as well. Um, but I know I don't want to add too much. So I'm just going to, let's glue this now, these sides. And I will put a... I'm going to put a clip on these so these so these glue down and stick down and then I'm going to go gla glab I'm going to go glab um, some cheesecloth I think I have some and I'm going to go glab I don't know why I keep saying glab um, grab some lace and I'm going to give this a little time to dry want to grab some sari silk for the top of that and anything else that I may so we're gonna let that sit and anything else that I may I want to back this need to use um, all right so let me go grab those things and I'll be right back so I grabbed a few things here and let's finish the tag. I'm going to set that aside. Now I grabbed a little bit of sari silk for the top, but I think I'm going to try something different um, instead of the traditional uh, grommet and then the tie. I love these little clips here. And I just think, I don't know if I can, yeah, I wanted to do it do it this way I really like these clips these are like little hanger clips but I picked those and I also picked these these little Tim Holtz and I wanted to do a clip for the top for some reason I thought that would hang down like that but that was me being bad and I have these little clips here Whoops, they do work. Um, and I thought maybe I might just do a clip like that on the top with a piece of silk as a bow at the top. Um, this one here I thought would be kind of fun because I could. I have to take this off here. Wow, it is really raining now. We need the rain so bad, but we don't need it pouring like this. I thought it would be fun if I could take this, if you can see what I'm doing, and tie a bow at the top of this. And if it doesn't come out, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, thought this might be kind of different. Something a little unique. And I could puff that up like that. Get my fingers in there. Wow, it is pouring. We have been so, so dry here. I don't think we've really had rain all summer. We've had a 
amazingly beautiful summer, but the last couple days the uh, humidity has come in and I think it brought this rain on. How come I can't find? I gotta scoop this other little end out here. Oh, there we go. I knew it was folded in half. I just had to be patient and find the other half of it. So we have that. Isn't it terrible how we fuss over the little things that I guess they all, all the little details do matter. And let me cut that. We'll see if that works. I just think this would be really cute to do something like this. And not really what I had in mind. I wanted it to hang down. Um, the only other thing I could do is I do have a little pair of thinking. If I took this off, Yeah, I'd really, maybe I'll attach that to something else because I just think that that would be really cute on something. So I'm going to set that aside because that is not going to, that's not going to cut the mustard. So I think for now, I'm just going to leave this little clip here because I think that's cute. Um, and we'll come back to, we'll come back to that. So I'm going to leave the clip on here for now just so I can get my hands on it. These I think I can take off. All right, so this here will slide down into here like this. Okay. And I may not do that. I may have to go back to the original decision because if I want to go down in here, I'm going to have to put a little grommet on there because of the top of this here. So, all right, that gets set aside. So let's do the front. Um, I'm thinking about doing more just to soften this a little bit. I have this old doily here, and I think maybe some of this would look pretty on there. So I'm going to take a little row of this. So sometimes when you have plans to do a certain thing, looks like little bricks, doesn't it? It doesn't always work out, and that's okay. I'm going to rip that, put that like that. We can add that to it. Um, and I'm thinking... I'd like to add a little something else. I brought this out, which I just love. This eye, these eyelets, these cute little flowers here, and maybe I could cut a little bit. I could cut one of these out. And I just want to play with this to see what, what will work, what won't. I just want to do something different. These are cute too.
Those are cute too. These are cute. Those are like little. These are like little berries. See what we have here. Something like that is cute. This I'm not going to use. Um, and I think I might use, I have this. This is from my oven. Um, it's parchment paper. And I put it on the bottom of my um, oven the other day to catch some stuff. And it came out looking like this. And I just think it's really cool. just want this to just kind of look a little natural. I like that. I like the different shades of the um, I like I think that's cute like that. So let's get this parchment down. I don't want to cover up too much of the um, stitching either, because I do like I like the way that stitching looks. This I'm just going to dab in little sections here. And place that down. Sometimes I can picture things in my mind, how I want them to come out and then Unfortunately, they don't they don't come out the way that I the way I pictured them, but that's okay. This I will just tack down like this. And we're going to get this one here. And we're going to let them be free flowing. All right. These we're going to put aside. And then I think, um, let's see if I have a little something here. Um, just to add a splash of color. Um, that's going to be too big. I don't want to cover that all up. Maybe that, like that right there. That has a little bit more color. I like that one. 
sometimes you just need a just need a little splash and this will play off of the gnome's hat as well and I want that to show I like that I'm gonna put that right there just like that all right so that little pocket there's your little pocket that little pocket is done um, and then let's let's get this done here I feel like I'm all over the place so disorganized doing this today I don't know why all right so I'm going to I'm gonna get this side glued down here and we will let this set And I just want to make sure that wouldn't that be a shame if I glued that too? No, I got plenty of room too much over, and I couldn't fit the tag in. That would be something that I would do. I'm going to go over and set this under a book so it dries really nice and tight. So this is all glued now, which is just lovely. And I put my grommet in the tag here. And I found some burlap because I think burlap would be it's a natural fiber. And I just think this would work really well. Um, in this so I'm going to this is when it's a little bit thicker I think I'm going to take a smaller one so I can get this through and do it this way All right, so we have that, and that can tuck right inside here. I'm going to open that up a little bit. See, I told you. Do it a little too much. And that's what happens. What do they say? No good deed goes unpunished. spot here my luck I'd rip a hole in it so I don't want to fool around with it too much but I have to open it up I should have probably just stitched it but why do that okay there we go all right and there is the top. I'm going to leave that all raw like that. And then this is our pocket. And these I'm going to just, um, I'm gonna change this out because I wanna use the burlap. So we're going to take these out here. We can use these for another, another time. And we're going to get some more of that little burlap. I just think these little books are going to be so much fun because um, they're just going to be very eclectic. I mean, I'm doing parts of Liz's and she has my book that she's been working in. And then this one will get sent to her, and then she'll work in it and send it back. So it's it's a fun project. And 
and she told me the other day she took a little sneak peek of my video prior to this. She couldn't help herself and um, maybe by the time this airs she will have it and she will be surprised and tickled with what is in it. I'm going to cut these down just a little bit. They don't need to be. I'm going to put this one on this side. It's a little bit longer. Okay. All right. That's cute. That is cute, cute, cute. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this little guy here, and I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to take that bye off. this up a little bit right at that black okay then on the back of this because she has these two to write on and she'll have that card to write on I'm going to just put a little decorative a little decorative something something on the back of this woody and um This might be kind of fun. That could go. These I think are a little bit too small. They are. I want something to fill it. Oh, that might, would that work? That may work right there. I could just trim that a little bit. That's just a shy short. I can't trim it that way any longer. But these would be really... Oh, how about the ferns? Oh, ferns are found in the woods. We are going to use the fern. So... And it goes like this. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to put the glue on here. I'm sure I have it right side up. I was gardening the other day and I have a I have a Kawasaki mule that I drive and take all of my trees and branches and shrubs, everything that I cut, tall weeds, and um, the back of the mule was chuck full and I we're on I'm on five acres up here and um, I was driving it to make the dump and I almost ran over a little toad that came out amongst the ferns and things that were in the back I'm so glad I didn't run over him All right, and I just made that. See that? Okay. There. There is the male fern. Very cool. Very cool. And we are going to, we will tuck that right down in there like that. And I think I am going to stitch this because I don't, this is not going to stay. So I am going to do a quick running stitch on here, and then we can get this in the book. All right, so I did a really quick stitch right down the side, and that worked out perfect. 
in and out it goes. There's the back. There is the front. And I will put a little saying on there for Liz, and I will have it show right up here. Let's see if I can do that before we put it in the book. Let's set this aside. And then we can do really quick, um, we can do the little observation book. And um, I have this little gnome that I think is so cute. He's just so, so cute. So I'm going to trim him up a little bit because I don't want so much white showing. We're going to come right down through here. And if you're new to my channel and you're still here watching, um, I am a stickler about details. Um, and that's probably why some projects, especially, you know, if I'm creating something for someone else, it really, in for me, it really has to be perfect. Um, it's just a reflection on, it's a reflection on me. And I just want to make sure that whoever is on the receiving end is really, um, they're really happy with their work, with my work, happy with the work. But I can't send something off if I'd known I could have done a better, more detailed job. What's that old saying? You had one job. You only had one job to do. So that little guy is going to go right on there. We have our little butterfly. And I really like, I really like this. But first, before I do this, and I want to put the butterfly right up here. Um, I want to get this in the book because I want to make sure that I'm attaching it properly on here. So if I take, I have some Tim Holtz tape here and I didn't use my, I didn't use my, um, my rose, did I? I might be able to put that up in a corner or something. I just saw that there. So I have this Tim Holtz washi tape that may fit the bill. So I don't know if this is either going to work or it's not, my friends. We're just going to have to see here. We are going to have to see. And I just noticed that this is not straight on that side. Those are the things that drive me nuts. Those are the things that drive me nuts. And I don't know about this. We will, we will see. Okay, flips open that way. And then we will put our piece of washi tape. Right here. Okay, so I think that, I think that works. Perfect. And maybe I will put one more down here just to hold it. 
I don't think Liz will mind. Then she can do whatever she wants on this page here. And I think it adds a little bit to it. So there you go, Liz. There. And I'm wondering if I should do the same. Well, I'm going to have this covered up, but I may do the same here just as a little extra precaution. And I'll add a little bit more to that as well. There. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay. So that's done. So now we can add our, we're going to add our little gnome. Me cute. I'm going to add him here. I feel like this video is 28 hours long, but I think it's because I've taken some breaks and done some other special little things. And he cute. Looks like he's weaving. He's got that's a weaving wheel. He's got his fiber and he's that's a spider spider web weave. Spider web weave, I believe that's what they call it. And we're gonna put this right here. I really like this. It's it's woodsy, it's dark, it's uh something that you would see in the woods. Something you would see in the woods. Put that right there because that has to flip open. So we can't have that hanging over. That's good. Okay. See, all these things you have to think about. And I will add some here. I didn't go too far with the glue because I wasn't sure. Then I remembered it can't hang over because it has to flip open. And then we're going to add the butterfly. And I think we'll put the butterfly right there. Maybe we could put the, I'm going to put the butterfly right down here. Right there. Instead, I think that looks better down there. There. And then Liz can do whatever she wants in here. She wants to put something in here. I think that would be really cute. And I think I will put, I think I'll add this little, I want to add this flower. So what I'm going to do here, and this is something that you can think about doing, I'm going to add this, but I'm only going to put glue around the edge. So if she wants to put something in here, she can slide it in up underneath that. Um, she can slide it in un up underneath those petals. And I'm only going to the top. there and I'll let that sit so if she has something that she wants to add this is a little bit say she has a pretty photo or something and it's a little bit bigger she can slide it right up in under there and actually use it kind of like to frame her photo and then she can um, whatever she puts in here she can glue down around it so I just I want to tell her that she can that is like an open, an open frame right there. So I think that'll be pretty. I think that's pretty. 
and then she can do whatever she wants on the back side. So all we have left to do is add this. Was there something else that I wanted to add to this? Oh, I might want to add a little, um, a little frame. And what I'm going to do, seeing that the glue didn't stick really good to this, I'm going to get my double-sided um, tape because that's not going to be a pocket. I don't want that to be a pocket. Um, or I could have the pocket go this way, couldn't I? She could slide something in there. So I think maybe I will make a, a side pocket for her. So we're going to put, I'm going to take this out, we're going to put the glue on the tape on three sides. And then she could put a little something in there. Can you tell I'm a little excited about this project? So that's going to go here. We want to leave this side open. I know this is kind of thick tape, but I want this to stick so she will be a little limited as to what she can put in the side pocket. And again, I'll tell her that as well. And then she has a nice, she'll have a nice little side pocket there. And what I'll do is I'll put this over here to the left a little bit more. And I think, I don't know, I may want to use a little bit of this. I'm going to take a thing of this tape as well and run it right down this side because I really like this. And it'll add just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. There. Now she's got a nice little pocket that she can put something in there. And then she has her little tag. There. And that is it. She has her two little tags here. She's got her cute little frog and fern. And I think that is just really, really cute. I love the way that that came out. So that's it for today, my friends. I have two pages left. I'll get them done, and I, I will mail this off to Liz over in Scotland. So if you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments on this. Um, if I've done anything different today that maybe you haven't seen or anything I can improve on, I'd love to hear. So thank you again, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Alrighty, bye-bye.